hey guys and welcome back to the channel if you are new here please do not forget to hit the subscribe button please okay sis like what are you waiting for i'll wait hit the subscribe girl okay now that you hit the subscribe button we sisters like we besties like you needed me in your life you was missing out baby girl so now that you did that hit the notification bell for you girl so that you could be notified every time i upload my next videos because i don't want you to just be watching this video i want you to watch all the videos i want you to be notified sis and that's on period and then leave a comment in the comment section down below because you know and y'all be keeping me all encouraging and whatnot and whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, leave it a comment in the comment section down below, girl. But not right now because we ain't talking about nothing. But when I start talking, let's get straight into this video. About social media and why I deleted all of my social media platforms, baby girl. I was like, I gotta go. This is too much. Like, this is way too much. I got to head out. And it's not what you guys think. I do not think, I'm not one of those people that think social media is toxic. I think it's super, super funny. Like, all the memes, you know. I like seeing people share their lives and different things like that. But the reason why I had to get off of social media is because I found myself battling with my old self, you know. Um, and just wanting to post anything and say anything and just you know and so i'm like okay girl because you you've leveled up okay you have grown from the person that you were so you need to take a step back reevaluate you're not in the right headspace to be posting because you're posting anything and at this point it's getting ghetto <laughs> so i took a step back um off of social media for several reasons for one i feel like i spend a lot of time on social media which if you're watching this video I'm pretty sure like you're on social media because obviously you're on social media to be even watching this video baby girl so don't try to play like you don't be I don't be on social media yes you do yes you do okay so you know you could be on there and then you be forgetting the time because you be on there and you be scrolling you be on instagram you see what everybody talk about this that and the third then you go over to facebook this that and the third snapchat twitter you know what i'm saying all the stuff tiktoks you know what i mean just be all over the place and next thing you know like an hour two three hours went by and you were supposed to get up and go do the laundry you were supposed to get up and go cook dinner you were supposed to get up and go you know run some errands but guess where you were you were laying in your bed or you was on the couch or you was you know scrolling on instagram and we are all guilty you know what i'm saying because it's just like so addicting it's like you see one thing after another after another after another and then it's like boom so i felt like for one social media was taking up too much of my time um especially when me and my walk with christ like i always i feel like that hit the first hour of my day should be dedicated to praying to reading my word you know just to giving it to god like i want to give the first of everything to him i don't want to give him my last because first of all at the end of the day if i try to read my word i'm already tired i might have gotten irritated throughout the day i might have you know been sad things may have happened and then it takes away from you know giving god my first and i feel like your day goes better when you really get up and you be like okay i'm gonna be thankful today i'm gonna praise god like i'm gonna pray i'm gonna you know read my word i'm gonna you know put the effort um to give god his glory uh through the first part of the day it makes it so much easier but for me i feel like social media is such cap like you know what i'm saying like people be capping on social media all day every day and it's like you people do not show the worst part of them on social media they show them taking trips they show them smiling in pictures they show them all that and i'm guilty okay because i'll get on there real quick if my makeup looking good you know what i'm saying i could be having a really really rough day but my makeup looking good i'm gonna get on there i'm gonna take my picture but then i'm gonna go back to reality and that's the thing is like i want to tap back into reality because social media is not reality it's what people want you to know they show you what they want you to see they want to sh they want you to see them living their best life going on trips happy in a relationship got engaged you know doing all these wonderful things their birthday i feel like even with birthdays like 
it's like you gotta overdo it you gotta make sure you got an outfit your hair makeup done you know what i'm saying a lot of people end up taking photo shoots doing little photo shoots for their birthday things that i think that you wouldn't really care about if you were just if we didn't have social media and we were just living our day-to-day -day lives of us wouldn't put so much effort into the things that we post on social media you know because i was thinking about my birthday and i was thinking because my birthday is next month and i'm like dang what i'm about to wear like how i'm about to do my hair how i'm about to do my makeup and it's just like okay but what are you doing all that for first of all baby girl you're in quarantine that's number one and number two like yeah you can get like i'm not saying not to like get cute and look good because this is your birthday this is comes once in a lifetime and a lot of people don't make it it takes a lot to make it through a whole year you know what i'm saying each year so i do feel like you should celebrate it but i feel like it shouldn't be celebrated and, or finding ways to you know like look good for instagram you know like even when people go out to dinner now i see like even me like when i be making my food and it be hecka good i make sure my plate presentation is on point because i'm about to take a picture of this and post it you know what i'm saying i feel like we just do certain things that's just out of the reality of the norm and it's okay to share your life with people and to share fun things and and stuff like that but not to the point where it's like oh my god i gotta find an outfit and i can't wear this outfit because i already wore it on social media before and if they see me wear it like who told you that because baby girl if i bought it I'm gonna wear it as many times as I want. And if I wanna take a picture in it again with a new hairstyle or whatever I wanna do, if I wanna wear it the same time twice in one week, it should be perfectly fine. But social media will make you think, I already wore that, I can I cannot. The only thing I can rewear is some shoes. I cannot. I, I already wore that. That's like yesterday. Like, wait, girl, like, uh, -uh I don't know about y'all, but I am not living beyond my means to be pleasing nobody catching flights there's a lot of people i know a lot of friends i know that went like broke i mean they got on a vacation they went on a vacation and came back flat broke and then mad because they have car notes they got bills to pay they got all this stuff right and the thing is i'm not saying not to take vacations and like you know i know a lot of people feel like it's only it's yolo you only get one life like what if i don't have another chance to do this or do that but do you want to do it at the expense of that when you come home you're gonna be mad because now you have to pay all these bills it but it was a cute photo and half of these people don't even care half of these people don't even be liking when they see that you doing good or whatever or it looks like you're doing good they're not even gonna like it they're gonna scroll on past it or whatever the case may be so it's like you spent all that money to impress people who really doesn't even matter like i feel like i needed to take a step back and and, and focus on what really matters like my kids excelling in school um my relationship with christ first and foremost um just the things that i want to achieve things that i want to go like since i've taken a step back as y'all can see your girl been coming with content okay and i promise you it's like it's flowing i feel like my content on youtube even was kind of forced into what is people going to want to watch what is people going to want to see what is people going to want to hear what is it you know i did all that like trying to figure out the content and i was like the views was not like i'm not about to be chasing or like you know doing all this extra stuff like i'm not going out of my means like when i did my clothing hauls it's because i actually needed more clothes because like my clothes were super outdated i haven't been shopping for myself in years like years so all my clothes were super outdated so it like i'm like it fits in like i'm that type of person if it's logical if it fits in i'm not about to go above my means i'm sorry sweetie like right now i am living my best life but not my bestest you know what i'm saying i'm not there yet i will be there but i'm not about to go beyond my means so when i did the clothing hauls it was it fit perfectly because i automatically it was a need that was already needed you know what i'm saying i didn't go broke trying to buy clothes to do a video for youtube to not get that many views that would piss me off like it literally would but i'm just saying giving examples because a lot of times 
on YouTube, you know, like we just be doing, we go the extra mile. But lately I just been like, I'm living my life and this is my life right now. And this is what I'm going to share. I'm going to share with you guys the tests and the trials that I go through. I'm going to share with you guys just my thoughts and you know, things. And then whatever it is that I want to share, not what I think you guys want to see not how I think you guys are going to feel. Cause the people that are for it. And this is what I always pray when I do my content is that God will send me people that genuinely love and appreciate my content. So like me, I just had to take like a real step back i was like you guys to get off instagram you guys to get off facebook i still have my tiktok but i really don't post on there and snapchat i really don't even be on snapchat either i think i had posted a little something the other day but for the most part um the major things that i spend the most time on was instagram and facebook and i just feel like i just i'm getting clearer a clearer mind i was listening to one of my close sisters i call her my soul sister and she was saying how um when you start to put god first then your life becomes better it comes it comes it becomes easier it flows better you know versus when you're on social media so much you get sucked into that and i heard her when she said that and i was like you know what sis i heard what you said and i'm about to get off of there so lately i just been really putting my time into first of all picking myself back up as y'all can see like cleaning my house i cleaned out my room cleaned out the bathroom like deep cleaned the bathroom i still need to deep clean the living room i'm getting there baby steps sweet we gotta call before we walk let's not get ahead of ourselves but i'm making the necessary steps or versus things that i probably wouldn't have did like you know what i'm saying um i'm making more youtube content like i'm getting closer to god like i'm really spending time with god and i'm like okay really just getting back focused like how i was re how i was focused this beginning of this year i was super disciplined i was super consistent i was like okay and then somewhere along the line sis just got all the way off so all in all do i think that social media is a bad thing no i don't because i mean it's a great platform where you can share a lot of things i just feel like people only share what they want you to see if social media was to a point where everybody was sharing like all their sad stuff would people really want to be on there like if everybody sh shared the worst moments of their life or what they thought was the worst moments of their life would everybody be on there trying to compete to try to you know like i feel like everybody be trying to compete to outdo this person to out you know shine and out this is like uh i just not for me you know what i'm saying because i'm gonna stay in my lane in my bracket and like JT said, I'm going to act my wage. Yeah, stay in my wage. Right now, it's just, you know, like, I'm not up there yet. Eventually, I am going to get there. That's why I'm, that's what I'm working towards. But I feel like once I took a step back off of social media, I could focus more on those things that I wanted to focus on, you know, and um, just really my walk with Christ, like the foundation, baby girl, the foundation got really shaky. It was a little rocky i'm not gonna lie for a couple of months um especially since my mom had died like i was going through a lot um but i'm just totally grateful to be able to just like still be here and to refocus hit the reset and reboot and revamp and resituate myself and re get my life together you know um so i definitely believe that taking social media breaks is a necessity every now and then you know what i mean to tap back into reality because half of this stuff that we see and that is posted is not reality for real for real you know what i mean i don't know like reality is like spending time with your kids reality is like you know looking at where you want to be in five years and like working towards that and like focusing on your goals focusing on what makes you happy not what i think that's gonna make everybody else happy and what's gonna give me the most likes and the most views like what no you know what i'm saying this life you live we only get one shot at this and we need to live it for ourselves and not for social media not for anybody else because at the end of the day half them people do not care and they definitely don't want to see you doing good you know so you really should not be up there trying to post every little you know what i mean you need to be moving in silence Roe g's moving silence like lasagna
That's what Lil Wayne said. You know what I'm saying? You need to be moving in silence because a lot of people don't want good for you. A lot of people don't want to see you happy. A lot of people don't want to see you excelling, sis. But you know what I'm saying? You just go ahead and pop out and pop out how you pop out. You know what I mean? Eventually, people will see the fruits of your labors you know what i mean you don't gotta announce everything and make everything and announce like oh my god i'm about to launch my business just pop out like when i was about to do my business i just popped out when i relaunched i popped back out you know what i'm saying when i got something else i got something else going on right now i'm popped back out on them <laughs> oh you thought oh you thought they thought key had gave up they thought key was like you know but then boom here i come again you know what I'm saying? And even on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I just pop back out. Like, video after video. Content after content. And get with it, baby girl. Because I am going to be a successful YouTuber. But most importantly, my goal in being a successful YouTuber, my, my part of successful is if I helped anybody get through something on each video each video that i put out if i just help one person to look at life differently to appreciate life more to get closer to god i'm being successful out here you know what i'm saying and that is my purpose you know so i had to get back refocus on the purpose of why i'm doing this why am i doing youtube you know it's not it's of course I want to get paid for my work, sweetie. Like, do you go to work and clock in and and expect them not to pay you? No. But more importantly, it's I want to help. You know what I'm saying? Whoever I reach, whoever I touch, younger, older, whoever just happens to just see me and be like, sis, like I'm feeling you. I needed this. I needed to see this today you know so i thank you guys for watching please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe and get off social media okay for a little bit you know what i'm saying you'll be fine trust me focus on you focus on the things that you want you know get your mindset right and you will be okay okay so thank you guys for watching please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe for more videos until next time